<laughs> All right, we are back, everybody. We are in the kitchen with Luke Woolley of Luke Woolley's Wild Alaskan Grill in the Strip District. Not only known for great seafood, but also look at this Bloody Mary. Look at this Bloody Mary. This is incredible. <laughs> Yeah. And I it's still looking can't get at me. these on. <laughs> or you at home. All right. You don't have to put them on right we, now. We need these for later. I wanted to have them on. Yeah. Okay, so tell us what goes into this uh, amazing Bloody Mary. So it's just, uh, it starts with a, a, a base of V8, and then there's 32 different herbs and spices that we add into our mix. Wow. Um, there's, in the shop, yeah, we have uh, the, the normal vodka, we use a Sky Vodka, but then we have uh, jalapeno horseradish. Uh, herb and pepper and five alarm pepper. So, uh, so can you get plenty of choices. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What so, would, how hot is it? Like, do you? The five alarm's pretty pretty spicy, but okay. uh, the the regular mix, I'd say, on a spice level, maybe a three, three out of ten. It's not okay. too. Not you think too I could handle a three? Uh, I, I think so. Yeah, okay. I mean, everybody <laughs> seems like, to really like well, it. So. All right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, like, uh, okay. you guys want the regular vodka in there, or you want to go with one of the? You, can, right, yeah, you we'll go with whatever. Which, which one should I pass we're you? We're pretty right. easy going. Let's, when yeah, it we'll comes go with the regular. We'll do one. We'll um, do with the horse strat okay. here. So, does this come out of a love for Bloody Marys? Do you? I mean, is this one of your favorite drinks? You know, it's always the Bloody Mary's been one of my favorite cocktails for a long time, and it just goes so well with seafood. Uh, it's just one of the things that we're really known for. Uh, Sunday brunch, Bloody Marys, you know, oysters, crab legs, all that stuff. It all goes. The artistry well. of this, the presentation of this. Did you come up with all this? Because it's the, so uh, the soft shelled crab with the bacon and then the little lime and lemon sliver and celery. I mean, it's really impressive. It's you, a meal. You know, uh, it's a meal. <laughs> yeah, years ago when we first opened, actually, it was uh, Tommy Butler and the Irish bartender. It was his idea to put the soft shell crab on it. And I actually. Told him it was a good. It wasn't a good idea and probably wouldn't sell very many. But he begged me to try it and sold like 20 of them the first day. Oh so well, those know. little olives are so cute. They look like eyeballs sticking. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so should we try these? Here's a, here's sure. a Well, here I'm gonna I'm gonna oh, put it together not, here with the, oh, the candy it. bacon. Sunny. It's uh, cowboy cut extra thick bacon. So there's and, like a lot of attention to detail here. Oh yeah. Some shrimp. Oh. And the shrimp that oh, we use gosh. here, they're, they're from the Cortez <laughs> Sea in Mexico. It's a 100% all natural shrimp and uh, really adds a great flavor to the uh, the whole thing. This here. has to be like Instagram happening at your place. Like, are people taking pictures and posting the, the, the oh, pictures yeah, all the time absolutely. of these drinks? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's all for the gram now, don't you know? It's that? all for the, it didn't happen if it's not on the gram. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there we go. You just want to try? I'll, I'll take this one. You don't want the shrimp on yours? No, no, that's okay. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, yeah. That has a kick to it. I like it. I love that. Oh, it's All hot. right, so you are going to show us something else because you really do love to fish. Yeah, um, you know, growing up in the fish market, spent my life, you know, idolized my grandpa, my grandfather and my father and uh, just love working in the, in the fish business. I was a commercial fisherman in Petersburg, Alaska, fishing for all five species of Pacific salmon. Is it really as dangerous as it appears on the deadliest catch in some of the shows? Oh, the the risk is definitely definitely there. The the, the fishery that I was involved in, which is uh, this pink king era, uh, pink chum king and sockeye salmon, it's done in the summertime, so it's not as dangerous as say the the crab fishing, which right. is done in November and December. Uh, you know, but the, you know, you're working around heavy equipment and uh, hydraulics and all that stuff in the ocean, and it can you be have to unpredictable. Be careful, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. So you're going to teach us what you learned there about how to crack these open, right? This is actually uh, <laughs> Captain Wild Bill from the Deadliest Catch showed me this technique, and and it was funny because I've eaten king crab my whole life. It's always been one of my favorite foods. And uh, I was one of the, you know, a lot of people struggle getting the, the crab meat out. And, mm -hmm. you know, I was one of those people until Bill showed me this method and this kind of All right, <laughs> so light bulb let's, let's idea. Let's so here's the, the crab leg here. You know, you've got the, the biggest piece here is called the Maris section. And you crack this apart right here. You want to pull these two tendons out. And if you take the kitchen shears, just cut it here. Split the crab right in half here. Okay. So and then, kitchen shear. Oh, look how it wow. just slides. Wow. Just pop that meat right out no here. No struggle at all. Yeah, and then just here's the other piece here. Wow. Now that is something that everybody at home can use if 
you're into. Pop that meat out there. Yeah, that's fantastic. If you guys want to try a piece in the I'll butter. I'll try a piece. Yeah. He will. Yeah. All right. Right. All right. I'm the party Here. pooper. <laughs> I'm going to break this off because I don't want to eat all of this. <laughs> but yeah, it's a lot of crap. Okay, here we go. Tell us how good it is. And so for those who don't mm. know, tell us where yes. wild, your wild Alaskan mm. grill is. So we're on uh, 21st and Penn, right in the Strip District. Uh, it's right near PNC Bank. And uh, yeah. yeah, this July will be eight years that we've been there. That's amazing. Yeah. That's fantastic. Well, continued success to you and your family. Thanks so much for coming yeah, on today. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, be sure to visit Luke Woolley's Alaskan Wild Grill in the Strip District. And we appreciate you being here.